Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Fed Governor Christopher Waller has pointed to the beverage card, which plots the relationship between job openings and the employment rate. To argue that the labor market could behave differently this time, the current ratio of two job openings for each employ employed person is a record hike. Typically, when the job vacancy rate falls, the employment rate rises as it becomes harder for job seekers to find a match. But Waller argues the beverage curve channeled during this pandemic, and uh, in a place now that would allow job openings to fall sharply as the as the economy slows, relieving pressures on wage and prices without much of a rise in unemployment. Which reason is that it won't be unprecedented for vacancies to decline by a large amount without the economy falling into recessions. We are in effect saying that something unprecedented can assure because the labor market is in an unprecedented situation. Waller wrote in a research now published by the Fed in late July. Other soft landing narratives also hang on history not repeating. Helping hand. In June, for example, the the median estimate among Fed officials was for employment to rise somewhat, but only to about four percent by the end of twenty twenty four, a slow and limited climb. Updated projections are due to be released at the end of the Fed's policy meeting in September twenty until twenty one. If as expected, those projections show higher employment. The change for a soft landing will confront an unpleasant historical fact. Once the U.S. unemployment rate increased by an curtain amount, it lands to a keeping rising. Since at least the late 1940, even modest increase of half a percentage point in the unemployment rate from a year. Earlier, the magnitude of increased Fed officials have begun to hint and have tended to spiral to jumps of two percentage point or more at the current labor force level of 164 million that will translate into around 3 million fewer people employed below some estimates but still high. Usually, once the labor market gets going downhill, it picks up speed and it goes. Further downhill, said Claudia Sam, a former Fed economist and founder of Sam Con consulting as a fed economy economy is she developed the eponymous some rule which said that once the three months of rich employment rate raises half a percentage point from its recent low the economy is already in recession given the oddities of the pandemic era labor market However, she is open to an ex exceptions this time. Some baseline is for a rise in the unemployment rate to around four percent, which will translate into a loss for fewer than a million jobs. But for the economy to avoid a recession, a lot would have to go right to get the that outcome. The August jobs report shows for how it could work an unemployment. Red driven higher by more people joining the labor force rather than by the round of layoffs since during a recession. The best outcome for the Fed hiring is on supply chains, healing more people coming back into the workforce, more price sensitivity by consumers. Some said it's a nor normalization in the economy. If that doesn't happen and labor market point increases, the the Fed would have 
both have options, including raising the inflation target him the current 2%, Brazil's estimate that getting to a 3% inflation rate will cost 3 million fewer jobs than insisting on hitting the current target, with the unemployment rate raising by just over 1 percentage point from the current level. So far, that's not a conversation the Fed wants to have. We have communicated over and over and over again our commitment to achieve that one percent goal. New York Fed President John Williams told the Wall Street Journal this week, I think it will take a few years, there, but there's no confusion. We're absolutely committed to doing it. Maybe that's all for me. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.